Hey everyone, I wanted to say Happy New Year's to everybody. I also want to say um, thank you for those that um, is always tuned into my ministry. I wanted to say um, God bless you. Um, today title, I am going to talk about being yourself in Christ. And that's very important. And um, especially, uh, you know, this new year, you know, that's what God wants us to do. And um, that's what was laid on my heart today. Um, I want to start off and, and, and say this, um, you know, being yourself in Christ is a blessing. Um, it will give you abundance, prosperity. Um, also, too, it will um, humble you and it will make you realize, you know, um, that things in the past is just in the past. God don't look at our past. He look at what we are doing for him now. Um, number one to being yourself in Christ is um, prayer. You know, um, God loves when we pray to him, when we um, come to him for different situations. It doesn't matter what situation it is, but prayer is very, very important to God. And prayer can uh, give us miracles. It gives us hope and make us believe. It does a lot of internal things in our heart. Number two, spend time alone uh, with God. Um, you know, he talks about that in uh, Mark 6, 31, 32. Um, he talks about spending time with him. Um, number three, uh, keep up with our needs. That's in Matthew chapter 15, 32. God talks about um, keeping up with our needs and um, him helping us, keeping us, keeping our needs together. Um, number four, take care of our bodies. And that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9, 10, and 20. Um, keeping up with our bodies is very important. Um, I know a lot of people love to um, eat out. You know, we love to go out to eat and and things like that. And we love to eat bad foods. And I'm like, you know, I'm one of them kind of people where, me personally, I love pizza but you know this year you know i decided i said you know what god i need to start taking care of my body i need to start drinking plenty of water start eating a lot of fruit start eating vegetables and um it almost been a month now praise god that i see the difference um i see the weight coming off i see the changes i see my skin clearing up you know i just see my whole attitude i feel god see the thing about um being yourself in christ God will change you, but change you in a way that you didn't think that you were able to be changed, you know. Um, a lot of times you get other people, well, you know, to lose weight, you got to do this to do that. We're going to start off with the uh, the prayer. Um, he talks about that in Mark chapter 1, 3, and 5. You have to come to him, you know. A lot of times we go to other people about... Um, what should we eat? What should we wear? And all this. And we just need to get on our knees and ask, Father, what is it that you want me to wear? What is it that you want me to eat today, Father? You know, what is it that you want me to do? Do you want me to fast? Or, you know, we need to come to him. That's very important to uh, the Father. Um, you definitely won't be the same. You will be a new creation when you repent and put your trust in Christ. That's very important. You know, once you re repent and rely on him, God will bless you. Um, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5, 17. So then if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. What is all he has passed away. Look what is new has come. Thank you, Father. You know, whatever we did in the past is the past. You know, I know a lot of people struggle with their past uh situations and um you know i struggle with that a lot and um but god is blessing me now and he let me know listen you know don't worry about that you keep moving forward and you keep you know the most important thing will give us confidence uh through christ is keep just going in his word bible study uh getting with people that's in christ you know a lot of times you know we get with a lot of people that don't believe in him we have to stop 
being around people that don't uh, serve God because it serves us no purpose. Um, it, it it really don't. You know, all it does is bring us down, and um, it don't it don't give us life. It don't give us abundance. Um, Psalms chapter one one. Bless is the man that walking, not in the counsel of the ungodly. Yes, and that's that's very important. God will bless us if we be obedient. We have to be obedient. We have to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying to us, and we have to listen to what God wants us to do. Um, being yourself in Christ just is not this. It's not the same as as um, being your own self. You know, being your own self is doing what man want us to do. We have to do what Christ wants us to do. That is that is the difference. Uh, the reason um, you shouldn't want to be yourself. Um, Romans chapter eight five six um, says. Those who live according to the flesh set their minds on things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So if you set your mind on doing the Father's work, God is going to work within you. If you set your mind doing demonic things, then that's how Satan is going to come in. You know, and, and Satan hates when you do God's work and when you're trying to uh, change yourself because he sent all types of stuff to you. He will send all types of stuff to you. But if you are focused and you doing God's will and you getting up and giving God the glory, giving God the glory for your children, for your husband, for just living, waking up, seeing the new year. You know, a lot of people take this for granted. And, and I want to say this, but these kids out here, man, they, they dying young. They dying young. And me, I'm so happy every day to see my daughter and my husband. I'm so happy to to just be here and to witness the people about our father, our dad, who loves us and want us to do well. And um, I just, like I said, I just want to give everybody hope and let people know that God worked in us if we willing to change. So I would like to say a prayer for those who want to change, those who's trying to see God and want to come to God. Lord, I just thank you today, Father. Lord, I ask you, Lord, any anyone out there, Lord, that's trying to seek you, Father, I ask you in the name of the Father that you will bless them that you will renew their mind, that you will give them the strength to keep going forward as we fall, Father, that you will pick us up, God, and that you will lead us the right way, Father, that we don't stray to the left or the right, that we keep going straight, Father. Lord, I ask you, Father, to bless those that listen to this ministry, Father, that want to change, that want to change their life. I ask you to give them abundance, prosperity, wealth, health father i ask you to bless them cover them with your blood i ask you this father in father's name i pray amen i want to thank everyone that's tuning in to my ministry i say god bless you and keep doing god's will bless everyone i'll talk to you soon